Almost every physical phenomena involves some kind of motion and we discuss motion of objects in branch of physics that is known as mechanics. Mechanics is further divided into two types, kinematics and dynamics. Dynamics. It deals with the motion of bodies with cause of motion. Dynamics discuss force which cause motion of objects. So in dynamics, we discuss the motion of objects with cause of motion. Kinematics. It deals with the motion of bodies without cause of motion. Kinematics does not discuss force which cause motion of objects. So in kinematics, we only discuss the motion of objects and we don't we do not discuss the force which cause the motion of objects. Rest. If a body does not change its position with respect to its surrounding as time passes, it is in a state of rest. This object is initially in a state of rest when it is not changing its position with respect to its surrounding. Motion. If a body changes its position with respect to its surrounding as time passes, it is in a state of motion. But we can see that this object changes its position with respect to time. So now we call it as a state of motion where when it changes its position from one point to another point. Rest and motion are relative to each other. For example, in this train, these people are sitting and they are in a state of rest according to each other. But the person who is observing outside the train is observing these people in a state of motion. So according to this observer, people inside the train are also in motion, but these people inside the train are in a state of rest according to each other. So rest and motion are relative to each other. Distance. Distance is the path length covered by an object. For example, we have an object and it is covering the path length from point A to point B. It can cover this path length in any pattern. For example, it covers this path length from point A to B with this blue color line. This blue color path line path length. It is a scalar quantity. Its dimensional formula is m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power 0. Unit SI unit of distance is meter. We can see that the path length covered from point A to B is this blue color line that is the distance. But when we talk about displacement, it is the shortest path length covered by a moving object. When this moving object covers path length from point A to B, that is the shortest path length. Now we give this name of displacement because it is the shortest path length from point A to point B. It is a vector quantity. Its dimension is equals to m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power 0. Its SI unit is meter. Example. Figure 1 shows actual path length of an object. The length covered from point M to N and then N to O and then O to P is called distance. In this figure, we can see that the initial point is point M and the final point is point P. An object is covering path length from point M to N, then N to O and then O to P. This path length covered by an object is known as distance but from figure 1 the shortest path length is from point m to point 
P which is called as displacement of the object because it is the shortest path length covered by an object. This figure shows the distance and displacement representation. Speed. Rate of change of distance covered with respect to time is said to be speed and it is represented by V. When we talk about speed, we say that it is the ratio of distance and time. When we calculate the distance with respect to time, we call it as speed of moving object. It is a scalar quantity. Its dimensional formula is m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power minus 1. Its SI unit is meter per second. Types of speed, uniform speed. In uniform speed, objects cover equal distances in equal intervals of time. So when we calculate speed and in equal intervals of time, we get equal distances. Then we call it as uniform speed. Variable speed. In variable speed, objects cover unequal distances in equal intervals of time. It is always positive. When we talk about variable speed, we say that object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time. So we get variable speed. Types of speed, average speed. The average speed of objects is the ratio of distance covered to the time taken. Its formula is average speed is equal to distance traveled divided by time taken. V average is equal to delta s divided by delta t. Here we subtract the final distance with initial distance and final time with initial time to get the average speed. Instantaneous speed. The speed of object at any particular instant is called instantaneous speed. Now we want to know that at particular instant, what is the speed of object, moving object. We don't need the average speed. We only need the speed at particular point. So we can calculate it. Instantaneous speed is limit time delta t tends to zero for a small interval of time. Delta s divided by delta t is equal to ds divided by dt. When we want to calculate the instantaneous speed at some instant at some point. So we take two points very close to that point before that point and after that point and we take the difference of these two points to get the instantaneous speed. We take the difference of speed at that two points to get the instantaneous speed. Velocity. Rate of change of displacement with respect to time is called velocity. It is same as speed but we here use the term displacement instead of distance. So velocity becomes the vector quantity. Its dimension is equal to m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power minus 1. Its unit is meter per second. Types of velocity. Uniform velocity. When the magnitudes and as well as direction of velocity of object remain same, then it is called uniform velocity. Figure A illustrates uniform velocity of moving object from point A to B and point B to C. We can see that magnitude and as well as direction of velocity of object remain same and we call it as uniform velocity from point A to B and then point B to C. Variable velocity. When the magnitudes or direction of velocity of object or both changes, then it is called as variable velocity. Types of velocity, average velocity. The ratio of displacement to time taken by the body is called average velocity. Its formula is displacement divided by time. V average is equal to delta R divided by delta T. Delta R is change in displacement of the object from final point to initial point. And delta T is 
time taken by object and it is a difference of final time and initial time using table 1 we can calculate the average velocity of moving car figure 2 shows a complete journey upper illustration of velocity is positive and lower is negative average velocity from point a to b can be calculated as we can calculate the average velocity from point A to B from the table by taking the difference of displacement that is 52 final displacement minus 30 initial displacement and divided by time difference of time from point A to point B is 10 minus 0 and we get average velocity is equals to 2.2 meter per second that is the velocity of moving object from point a to point b average velocity of moving object from point a to point b similarly we can calculate the average velocity of object between any two points instantaneous velocity the velocity of object at any particular instant is called instantaneous velocity it is average velocity for infinitesimally small time interval time t tends to zero instantaneous velocity is v is equals to limit time t tends to zero delta r divided by delta t that is equals to dr divided by dt when we calculate the instantaneous velocity we calculate the velocity at some as instant and we can calculate it by taking two points very close to this instant and we take the difference of the velocities between these two points and then we get the velocity of that middle point that at that instant acceleration Rate of change of velocity with respect to time is called acceleration represented by A. Its direction is same as that of change in velocity. It is a vector quantity. Its dimensional formula is m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power 2. Its SI unit is meter per second square. We can calculate the change in velocity easily. But when we talk about the change in velocity with respect to time, we give it name of acceleration. So acceleration is simply the change in velocity with respect to time. Types of acceleration. Uniform acceleration. When the magnitudes and as well as direction of acceleration of object remain same, then it is called uniform acceleration. Variable acceleration. When the magnitudes or direction of motion of objects or both changes, then it is called variable acceleration. Average acceleration. The ratio of velocity to time taken by the body is called average acceleration. Average acceleration is equals to delta V divided by delta T. When we take the difference of velocity between final and initial points and we divide it by time then we get the average acceleration instantaneous acceleration the acceleration of object at any particular instant is called instantaneous acceleration instantaneous acceleration is equals to a is equal to limit delta t time tends to zero delta v divided by delta t that is equal to dv divided by dt position time graph various position time graphs and their interpretation is given here we have the position and time graph and here on x-axis we have taken time and on y-axis we have taken the position or displacement so the horizontal line represents that theta is equal to 0 degrees so v is equal to 0 
line parallel to time axis represents that the particle is at rest it is not moving so it is not changing its position because position is represented on along y axis and there is no change in position along y axis and time is passing so object is at rest so its velocity is zero this graph shows that object is moving and it's changing its position theta is equals to 90 degree so v is infinite line perpendicular to time axis represent that particle is changing its position but time does not changes it means the particle possesses infinite velocity practically this is not possible because time is changing continuously so practically it is impossible when theta is constant so v velocity is constant acceleration is zero uh, here we have a straight line line with constant slope represents uniform velocity of the particle here we can see that particle is changing its position and while time is passing so with respect to time particle is changing its position continuously so we get this slope and it is representing the uniform velocity when theta is increasing so velocity is increasing acceleration is positive the line bending towards position axis represents increasing velocity of particle particle is increasing its velocity it means that the particle possesses acceleration that is positive theta is decreasing so v is decreasing a is negative line bending towards time axis represents in decreasing velocity of the particle it means the particle possesses retardation or negative acceleration because when velocity of object increases we get positive acceleration but when velocity of object decreases we get negative acceleration that is known as retardation theta constant but greater than 90 degree so velocity will be constant but negative line with negative slope represents that particle returns towards the point of reference negative displacement straight line segments of different slopes represent the, that velocity of the body changes after a certain interval of time here we have uniform velocity but here velocity of object changes and then again from b to c and then from c to s this graph shows that at one instant the particle has two positions which is not possible so practically it is impossible particle cannot have two positions at same time this graph shows the particle coming towards origin initially and after that it is moving away from the origin so this is the position time graph velocity time graph here theta is increasing so acceleration increasing line bending towards velocity axis represents the increasing acceleration in the body so whenever velocity of object increases we say that we have a positive acceleration theta is decreasing so acceleration decreasing line bending towards time axis represents the decreasing acceleration in the body and we know that when the velocity of object decreases its acceleration is negative positive constant acceleration because theta is constant and angle is 
less than 90 degree but initial velocity of the particle is negative that is negative positive constant acceleration because theta is constant and less than 90 degree but initial velocity of the particle is positive negative constant acceleration because theta is constant and greater than 90 degree but initial velocity of the particle is positive negative constant acceleration because theta is constant and greater than 90 degree but initial velocity of the particle is zero Negative constant acceleration because theta is constant and greater than 90 degree but initial velocity of the particle is negative.